Hey guys, this is my student, Noah Martinez, and today we're going to go over another technique from the shark bite guard. Okay, so I've already covered how to get there in previous videos, so we're going to start from the shark bite guard. Remember, I want to keep my elbow in nice and tight. I'm grabbing the back of his head and I'm controlling his posture, right? So, this technique, particular technique, is, can be difficult to get um, because you need some space uh, in between you and him to get your shin across. And what I'm talking about is just a basic scissor sweep. So, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll push him away as I get my knee across. But once I've got it, he's going, right? So I just scissor sweep. As I come up, I dismount, I take his spine out of alignment, listen to his heartbeat, get my arm as deep as I can, think tricep, not bicep, walk his hand up, look to his feet, set on my hip, squeeze for the finish. So again, I'm in this position here, got shark bite set up, right? I'll push him away a little bit with my forearm, Take my hips, bring my shin across. Now once I get it, he's going over. Dismount, I'm keeping that grip guys, but I'm taking his spine out of alignment, right? Shoot my arm deep, listen to his heartbeat. Think tricep, not bicep. Walk my hand up, lift to his feet, take a deep breath. There's one variation I wanna show you. Sometimes, right, sometimes you can't, you can't set it up when you have the bicep but I can grab my forearm. So I literally went from my bicep to my forearm. In the gi sometimes, I'll even grab inside my gi, four fingers in like an Ezekiel grip, right? But no gi, I'll just grab my forearm. This helps me to create some more space. All right guys, that was the scissor sweep to Darsh show from the Shark Bike Guard.